Welcome to Tapper TV. I'm Owen Fop. And I'm Eric Cass. Hope your December is off to a great start. Christmas break starts one week from tomorrow. What are your plans? Lexi Winger went to find out. Hi, my name is Lexi Winger, and I'm signing in for Tapper TV about Christmas. What I'm looking for for Christmas is um, uh, having a snowball fight and receiving Christmas gifts. I'm seeing like 34 people, which is almost half of my family. So that's going to be pretty exciting and overwhelming. I have family coming over from California and we're throwing a Christmas party. No school. I'm very excited for skiing season, uh, if it snows ever. I'm going to go snowmobiling and ice fishing. This is Lexi Winger, signing out for Tapper TV. See you next time. Another thing to do over vacation is get caught up on your sleep. Here's Tyler with a report on team sleep requirements. Wake up! You gotta oh. do your intro! Come on! Oh, hey Toppers, this is Tyler signing in for Topper TV. Would you be able to give us an explanation as to why kids seem to sleep in class? I can try. Um, so you have a circadian rhythm that regulates your sleep and wake cycle, and it's about 24 hours long, and it's affected by sunlight, and it, uh, it affects your hypothalamus in your, right in the middle of your brain, which then sends a signal to your pineal gland that sends out melatonin that tells you to sleep or doesn't send out melatonin tells you to wake in your teenage years the cycle shifts and so you your body wants to go to bed later and sleep later and then we don't let that happen because we start school so early sometimes i have to work until 11:30 at night and then i get home and i'm so awake from work that i take a while for me to fall asleep. I would not recommend sleeping through like a calculus though. That would, that would not be very good for your sanity. How do you uh, handle students who sleep in class? class? It's a great question because it becomes more and more uh, prevalent. If I have a true understanding of the student, not only academically but outside of school, it uh, gives me a better understanding of their situation and their experience, but it's a choice, a freedom of choice. Could I get you to do this? Could I get you to do that? Because I can't allow you to sleep. So what do you do to prevent kids from sleeping in your class? Well, one thing that I would like to think is that uh, the class itself and, and the lesson is you know, engaging enough and, and interesting that the student won't want to sleep. Because um, then, of course, if you sleep, you're going to fall behind and it's just it's not going to be good. Um, now, that doesn't always happen. This is Tyler, signing out. A hot button issue these days is net neutrality. What's that, Eric? I'm going to tell you. Hi, I'm Eric Cass, reporting for Topper TV. Today we're going to talk about net neutrality. What's your opinion on net neutrality? Well, when it expires soon, I'd like to see them uh, renew it or keep it the way it is. Uh, the way the internet is right now is much more democratic. Um, if, if I understand it correctly, uh, if things change, uh, there could be an internet for the haves and an internet for the have-nots. Who's trying to take away net neutrality? Uh, people whose net worth are higher than La Crosse and on Alaska combined. They need more money, though. I think net neutrality should exist, and uh, I think it's necessary to keep um, everything fair, and also for people accessing all of that information. Hopefully you learned a little bit about net neutrality. See you guys next time. Thanks, Eric. Last week our international students were honored at the annual flag ceremony. Congratulations to you all. Enjoy the Wisconsin winter. Let's end today with the weekend's biggest event. Here's Brandon Ray with the news on the debut of the newest Star Wars movie. It's Brandon Ray signing in for Topper TV, uh, talking about Star Wars. So are you excited for the new Star Wars movie? Yes. Uh, yeah. Are you a big Star Wars fan? Let's put it this way. Some people go to church. I watch Star Wars. <laughs> I really want to see what happens. It seems like Rey is going to become evil. You're excited about the new Star Wars movie? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I'm Are you so a big excited. Star Wars fan? I am a big Star Wars fan. I'm really looking forward to uh, the porgs. Are you planning on going to the new Star Wars movie? Of course. Of uh, course. You look like you're a pretty big Star Wars fan. Yes, I am. I am. Books, comics, I really... So what are you most looking forward to? Oh, a lot of things. Uh, probably the most is seeing Luke Skywalker again on a on the movie screen. So do you know when it's coming out? The official release date is December 15th in the U.S. This is Brandon Ray, signing out for Topper TV. Stay warm out there, Hilltoppers.
We'll be back in January with the last Topper TV of the semester. Get a good blooper in there. I'm getting so hot. Can we do this quick and then I'm going to go step outside and go for a run?